Hello guys, you are most welcome again on my channel and uh, as you know, we are doing history of English literature. Today's topic is the days of Shakespeare and particularly prose. We have completed poetry, the topic poetry and uh, this is day 34th. So before starting this video, I would like to request you, a humble request to you. Guys, just subscribe if you have not already subscribed my channel and uh, if you find a little bit time share this video like and here is my whatsapp uh, number you can send me a message you can text i led you to my group uh, where we usually discuss english literature so let's come to the topic here are some works uh, which are related to this age and which we must know for our exams so first is religious works so there are categories if we study in categories uh, and we can classify things we can categorize things well we remember them for a long time so here is religious work so religious works were hooker's ecclesiastical, ecclesiastical poetry that's sometimes tough pronunciation in english literature the authorized version of bible these two works and you don't need to go deep in these two works, just know the name of the works. Now here, Raleigh's History, Richard Huckler's Travel, or you can say Travelogue, and Travel Literature, he worked for Travel Literature, and he is also called the father of Travel Literature, because he is the point, this is the starting point of Travel Literature, that's why his father. Literary Criticism, Sydney, we have already gone through his work, isn't it two days before if you have not watched the complete video you can check out that video just scroll down the videos Ben Johnson wrote essays he wrote 106 videos in total here so here is a shortcut to remember his works like uh, in 97 he wrote 10 essays in 12 it was 38 in number and in 25 58 in total 126 we will be talk talking in detail about these works so let's come to the father of english essay hello guys if you like my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell icon so that you can get notified for my videos here are some of my other channels if you like please do subscribe first is daily lesson with kaushik for english language and uh, mission free from fear is for motivation and uh, self defense seated sure is for particularly seated and do you know who called a loose telly of mind and uh, what he was referring he was referring to essay and he was dj dr johnson in shortcut we said dj and beckon was called and is called father of english essays his works are categorized in two categories first one is latin and second he wrote in english so he knew latin and in latin we have de augmentis this is in latin de augmentis scientirium and it got published even i don't know when it got published so the next one is because this is not important but you should know this and here, this work is important. Novum Organum. Novum Organum got published in 1620. And what the what was the subject matter of uh, this work? It was new logic, an inductive method of reasoning. So sometimes it is uh, asked in TZT, as it was asked in UPTZT. So what was the subject matter? So subject matter was new logic and inductive method of reasoning. So keep in mind this one. In English, he wrote, uh, he wrote essays. And the most famous style is aphoristic style. And that was of, that is related to Bacon, you can say. 106 essays on different topics. If you'll go through the Wikipedia, you will find all these essays if you want to study. After us, of study, these two are most important because these are uh, again part of syllabus of UPTZT. Scientific and philosophic prose, these are subject matter. The advancement of learning, 
this was the title of his work next one is history which got published in 1622 and history of Henry VII was there actually this was uh, not particularly history he called it history Bacon called it history but actually it was quite flattery and it was like a biographical work of uh, Henry VII New Atlantis his work which got published in 1626 it was uh, you know motivated or you can say influenced by Moore's Utopia or he took subject matter from uh, Moore's Utopia you know and uh, it remained incomplete or incomplete because of his death here is one most important quotation for Beckett the wisest the brightest and the meanest of mankind and this quotation is by Pope Alexander Pope why why just because of the, his you know wise works his lots of works his scientific works his history works his logic and his works for uh, different subject matters he has written essays uh, beautiful essays full of wisdom that's why he was wisest brightest because he was uh, he called himself the encyclopedia of learning he called himself uh, okay and the last one is meanest this one why people called him meanest so there were some reasons to call him meanest uh, relation with Essex so Essex was his friend a short story for you Essex was his friend he dissed him just because of Queen and uh, now finally he got executed and he did not help him so that's why he was meanest next flattery to James first and uh, he was a good flatterer and just because he wanted uh, more money he was money monger we can call him he wanted more money that's why he lost his friend he was doing flattery and corrupt record as chancellor so he was a chancellor too and he took bribe and that's why he had to give 14,000 something it was I don't know in dollar or something else that time there was no dollar existed that time but something 40,000 uh, he had to repay or uh, he got punished for that so that's why he was meanest so I hope you got all these ideas and it helped you and it will help you in your exams so if uh, you think it helps and you want to support me you can think of these things really it helps bye bye take care see you in next video